now on When Scorpions Attack Each Other. Both of these scorpions have a needle-sharp stinger filled with venom. Both are fighting to the death. Both want to make a meal of the other one, which is why they're attacking each other with such ferocity, even though it looks like a combination wrestling match, tango competition, and advanced yoga class. Look at this amazing sight. One scorpion finds the tiniest chink in the other's armor and administers the fatal sting. The vanquished scorpion falls prey to the lethal neurotoxin. It's a goner. All this hullabaloo attracts a third party, a shrew, who is all a quiver with the thought of a scorpion dinner. Yes, shrews eat scorpions, if the scorpions don't kill them first. The scorpion is cannibalizing its victim, but it's incapable of consuming solid food. So what does it do? Ah, well, it excretes enzymes, of course, to turn the victim into scorpion soup. Mmm, yummy. The shrew is on the prowl. Now, you're probably expecting the shrew to go after the easy pickets, the dead scorpion, but no. The shrew may look cute and cuddly in a hyper weird kind of way, but he's nasty enough to cause the live scorpion to abandon his booty and hide itself. The shrew poo-poos the stiff. He wants a piece of that live scorpion, which is why this segment is now called When Shrews Attack Scorpions. The scorpion's venom could easily kill the shrew, but the shrew has the lightning reflexes of the young Muhammad Ali. He floats like a butterfly, so the scorpion can't sting like a bee. The shrew needs to eat half its body weight every day, so it's ready to attack. It's hungry. The shrew bobs and weaves and pokes and prods and faints and bluffs, and then finally, it's over, it's all over. One lightning bite, and the shrew will now enjoy the spoils of victory. No rematch, no huge gold belt, no job as a casino greeter. The spoils of this victory are eating your opponent. At least boxing hasn't resorted to this, uh, 